Hey everybody, welcome to Quick and Easy Quickies. As you can see, I'm in the woods, and you're gonna wonder what do the woods have to do with tech? Well, truly the answer is nothing, but it's a long weekend where I am in Canada, so I still wanted to bring you a video, and what better place to bring a video to you from than the woods? And also, I'm doing a video on mixing station, so I wanted to point out that a cool aspect of mixing station is that you can do your setups offline. So if you have your iPad or even your phone with you, whatever, wherever you are, whenever inspiration strikes, you can do a setup. So with all of that out of the way, have you ever wondered how to change the width of your channel strip and mixing station? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna have a really quick look here at mixing station. Um, I'm going to choose XM Air. I'm going to choose Offline. And then you could choose whatever mixer it is you want. I'll choose XR16, why not? And here we are in a default layout. What it looks like doesn't really matter. Um, yours can look completely different from mine, that's fine. What you're gonna wanna do is come up to your cog, go to the Layouts tab, and if you don't have anything here, you can press the plus sign to create a new one, and that'll bring you into edit mode. If you do have one here that you want to edit, you're just going to click on the edit button and that will bring you into the edit mode for the one you've already got. I don't have one here, so I'm going to click the plus and now I'm in edit mode. And you can see every element on the screen has a green box around it. That box can be resized. So before you actually try and resize the faders, because if I do that now, if I change my resize and move button to just resize, you can see we're not really getting the effect that we want because those faders are not filling the box. So what you need to do is tap on the faders, click on the edit button, and under, video, uh, under visible channels, you're gonna change it from inherit to either fit channels or to the number of channels that you have. And what it'll do is it'll force those channel strips to fill that green box. In my case, I'm gonna choose fit channels. So when I go back, you can see that it's actually forced the faders to be that full width. Now that's a really quick way to do it if you only have a few on there, but if you still need to resize it, change your size and move button to just resize, and then you can drag left and right to either make it wider or more narrow as desired. And uh, then after that, the only thing you've got left to do is tell this to open as your layout when you start up the app, assuming that's what you want. In my case, I do. So what I'm going to do is still in this edit window, I'll click on the cog, and then under behavior, I'm going to change it to open on startup, and I'm gonna hit apply. So now, if I close the app and open it again, choose my mixer, choose offline, choose which version I want, and boom, there you go. I'm in the newly edited layout with the wide faders that I just made. And that's it, that's how you do it. So there you go, a quick and easy way to change the width of your channel strips on Mixing Station. I hope you found this interesting, entertaining, educational. If it was any of those three things, be sure to like and share and subscribe, all the normal stuff on YouTube. Check us out on Patreon if you wanna help out the channel. Watch the videos that are linked here at the end. And until we see you next time, thanks for watching here on Quick and Easy Quickies. See ya.